Hey, it's Matt Dunlap, and uh, I have a tutorial for WordPress 3.0, um, how to run top-level domain names from uh, a WordPress 3.0 multi-user install. Now, WordPress 3.0, they've merged we'll, we'll, uh, WordPress multi-user and WordPress together. But when you install WordPress, you don't see the network. Now, you can follow the link in the, in, uh, the description of this video and go to my website, and I have a tutorial on how to enable um, basically network and they call it you know you're creating a network or a community um, but it basically you enable the network and you can make multi sites so this is after that and I've I've enabled it this is a WordPress 3.0 normal install um, I've enabled it so that I have multi uh, multi site ability and uh, you can see over here I have super admin now I have a top level domain of hit six and that's what I have installed this on um, and I've made one subdomain so far, so Matt at hit six dot or Matt dot hit six dot com. Um, you'll see that it shows it right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn Matt dot hit six dot com into a top level domain name. Um, I I have uh, I believe it's digital camera advice dot com. I'm going to turn it into. Okay, so most of this is going to be done. In, I think you can do this actually from the back end, but I do all this from the uh, domain uh, from the the database. Now if you look over here at all the tables in the database, um, during the first install it doesn't install all these so so uh, after you do the networking it's going to install all the the, uh, the old WordPress MU um, tables. Uh, the tables that we're going to be working with is going to be WP underscore site, um, WP underscore blogs, and the options. Okay so matt.hit6.com is WP underscore two. Um, the, the first uh, blog that you install is going to be WP underscore and so you'll be able to get that number if you go to uh, if you actually scroll over it if you if you I don't know if you can see this in the video but if you if you mouse over the name um, in the status of your browser you can see the ID of it so that might help you out a little bit so I'm gonna go into post options here and I'm gonna change um, uh, the, the there's three settings that I have to change so I'm gonna change this one to Oh, duh. Go like this. DigitalCameraAdvice.com. And since that's a long, long, long domain name, I'm just going to copy it. Say go. And I believe that there's nothing else on this page. The next page, we're going to change the home. Basically, wherever you see, I keep on forgetting to edit it. Wherever you see the domain name, you're going to change it. And I believe there's three places. One on each screen. And the last one is where we upload the files. Yeah, right here. So, so we're going to change all that to the new domain name. Okay, so that's it for the options. So basically, so far I've changed the domain name in the the word the the website that I want to make a top level domain. I've changed the options. I've changed the domain name. Okay, now I go down here into site, and I'm gonna add I'm gonna add it to this one. So I'm gonna insert basically the domain name. Just gonna add the domain name, and then the path is uh, just the slash. Okay, cool. So now I have those two. And so now I go into blogs, WP blogs, and you'll see that uh, this is where all the normal subdomains are being held. And I'm just going to change it here again. So I change it. So as you can see, where all we really do is we're just changing the domain names everywhere. And uh, on this one, you have to change the site ID. Um, so whatever whatever you just made in the site in WP site, you have to change the site ID. I believe if you don't change it, the the domain name will work. You'll be able to see it publicly, but when you go to log in in admin, it won't let you in. It'll keep redirecting you to the old, to the original site, and uh, so that's basically it. Um, and now, what you have to do is go into site meta and uh, basically copy everything here that is uh, that was set up for the, the initial site. You basically make everything for the new site. Um, so let's just run the SQL here. Okay, so this um, this is a SQL script that I get from one of my functions, and uh, basically what I'm going to be doing here is if you read this um, SQL script, it's it's basically inserting into WP set site meta, and it, it just copies everything that uh, 
the init the, the default site has, and it's just going to copy it, if that makes sense. Okay, so I go back, and you'll see here that I basically, everything that was for hit6.com has been now copied over to um, uh, the digital camera advice. Okay, before you have to, uh, I actually messed up a little bit. I should have done this before I started everything. But before you can actually get the domain name to point to the proper um, uh, WordPress install, you have to add it as a server alias to the, uh, to the virtual host. So if you look here, I, this might be unfamiliar to you. Now, I think that you can just park a domain. Um, if you're using a shared host, it gives you the ability to park domains. Um, I'm 99% sure that that will do the same thing and, and will give you a nice little front end. Um, I do everything uh, through the, um, you know, through SSH. So I'm just going to add it here uh, by hand. digitalcameraadvice.com um, so the server alias I actually have to give it a wild card here and then you can give it a wild card and then if I give digital camera advice a wild card then I'll be able to actually add multi uh, I'll be able to add websites to digital camera advice also so as you can see you can chain it and it can just keep growing and growing and growing so you can actually make multiple networks um, from one install so I'm actually gonna do that and da, 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 da. so digital I'm gonna give it the wild card and then I'm gonna type it again. And that should do it. So da, 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 da. save that file. And then I'm gonna restart the server. Okay, cool. Now, if I cruise over to, um, let's cruise over to Digital Camera Advice. And there you go. So Digital Camera Advice now is pointing to uh, uh, mat.hit6.com. So you see here that it's a WordPress install. Um, it says over here just another Hit6 website. Um, it's got the title, which is Matt, which is default whenever you make a new subdomain. So. Um, that's about it. Um, I'm going to be covering this over on the on my blog also. Um, if you want to get any of the, if you want to get any more information, um, and I'll have all the, I'll have all the settings there. But um, that's this is where WordPress is a lot more fun because subdomains suck, and we all want to have you know a network full of top level domains basically. Okay, thanks.